what am I going to do with all these cans? Listen, I already had some of these things laying around the house. You know, I went on a road trip for a month, brought these, you know, carrying stuff out into campsites and up into the woods and stuff. You know, you just got to stick with the small ones sometimes. It's not practical to bring a, bring a big dog like this. Uh, you know, I clean up out of, out of a campsite. People throw them in the fire all the time. Um, you can't throw these in the trash, just throw them away. They're under compression, um, under pressure, and it's flammable gas, so it's a hazard. So you can't just throw them in the trash. Uh, so you end up, you know, <laughs> you collect up a few. I take them to the dump. The guy says, hey, we used to have a spot for them, but I'm not sure where, where anymore or what, so I can't leave them there. Um, so it leaves you a couple choices. Okay. Choice number one, which I've used on several occasions, um, some danger involved, you know? People say you don't want to do this at home. It's just not worth it. These things are cheap enough. Maybe you just towed a big can, something like that. But one of your options is um, to refill them. You flip a can of propane upside down. Uh, they, make, they make a special attachment you can buy on Amazon. Uh, and you wire it right to the, the valve here. And then what you want to do is you want to have these in the freezer, um, extremely cold. It helps when the gas comes in to, you know, to keep it um, liquid. It's a good idea if this is maybe do this in the wintertime or keep this in a place that's really cold. I don't think you could fit this into a freezer, but these empty, you get them into a freezer. Uh, on occasion in the summertime when I've done it, I've pulled these out of the freezer and then kept them on a little bucket of ice, uh, like a wine, like a wine bottle, uh, while I fill these to make sure they're liquid. So, pretty, pretty easy process. Oh, I guess. <laughs> you roll this right out of there. Make sure your valve's open under here. You want to have this, you're going to want to have this ended up being lower than where the tank is. Uh, but for demonstration, I'll show you, and you just... <laughs> okay, let's say you don't want to deal with any of that. You're not interested in refilling them, uh, blowing your house up, burning nothing down, any of that. You just want to get rid of the things. Um, the guys over at Outdoor Elements have a solution for that. And it is this. It's a pot holder. Uh, little clamps like this. Up right up to the ridge of your pot, picks it right up. Easy peasy. But how's that going to help you with these canisters, right? Well, this is actually a multi-tool. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to probably never, ever use it as a pot holder, <laughs> if, if I'm honest. All the pots I have, I'm not a, I'm not a hiker. I, you know, I use big frying pans and things, so I probably never use it. But the tool that comes with this pot holder is something that we need to solve this problem with. So... Let's look at it a lot closer. Alrighty, this is what we're looking at. Like I said, um, it's a pot holder originally. It's a very nice aluminum, like two ounces, something like that. Uh, if you're into a pot holder, it's a great, nice little rubber stoppers in there. It grips, it grips real nice. I mean, I tried it out. I didn't bring a pot to demo it, but because um, that's not really what we're going to do with it. What we're going to end up doing mostly is we're going to take this little pin out. And we're going to drop this pin here. And we're going to separate the two pieces. Right? And this part we'd say for later. Uh, but what we're really concerned with is just this top piece right here. Uh, for the most part. So if you notice, on the tip is the screw adapter to do one of these small cans like this. And then they make... An adapter, which I already have actually loaded up onto this unit right here, um, for the bigger for the bigger one pound cans, like so. All right, it's going to kind of be a little two step process. So this little deal right here, if you notice, has a hole inside of it, and what it's going to do is it's going to vent any gas that's still left in there. So we just throw it on there like this, screw everything on. And it discharges that last little bit of gas that was in there. 
All right, so now we're completely empty. So then right under here, underneath this little sheath that I have not taken off of this one yet, is a little blade. And so what you do is, this thing drops in right there on that thing. Put your finger on the bottom, push in the bottom. Now you've cracked it. Rotate it, rotate it a little bit. Crack it again. Pull your top off here. Now what you've done with these little vampire bites is you've unpressurized this and now this is trash. This is able to be thrown in your trash at your campgrounds, um, recycled, uh, thrown in your regular trash. All right, and then like I said, we screw on this bigger, this is a brass adapter. Um, notice the same valve in the top, like I said, with the other piece. Um, thread it on there. One pound can. Same process should happen. It should release any gas that's going to be left inside of it. This one was pretty good and empty. Get it screwed on there. No gas really came out of it. Uh, then, like I said, you line up the little point right here that's underneath in the bottom there. And I have to get it with two hands. Um, you can actually rotate it over and you could kind of just kind of lean into it. I know you have some reserves about puncturing this thing by your face. Is it going to explode? But the valve on here, once you've rotated this on there, um, like you saw with this little can, gas will come out of it. It will empty the can, and then you'll have nothing to worry about when you go to tap into this. Puncture the can. And like I said, now this thing's ready to go. Trash. Alrighty, so the Outdoor Elements guys came up with kind of a cool little product. Like I said, aluminum, this is brass. Um, everything fits back together with just a quick little pin. Bam, you're back to using it as a pot holder uh, as originally intended. Um, they make a couple of little cool little things like multi-tool carabiners and some gadgets and things like that. Uh, you could probably check out on their website. Uh, if you're planning on picking up one of these, please follow my um, affiliate link for Amazon that is in the description. Um, pick it one of these little gadgets, throw it in your bag. Don't have to worry about it. Pop one of these done, pop it off, crack it, throw it in the trash right there at camp and get out of there. Uh, and while you're waiting to do that, why don't you check out this video right here? I appreciate y'all. Take it easy.